Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Tales of Fantasia for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Arr, talk through a wind tunnel, because that's all I do. So anyways, this game was one of the games requested in the 2013 Christmas special, which will be games that I would do in 2014. So yeah, I remember owning this cartridge when I was in college, and let me tell you, it's quite fun. Well, the Super Nintendo game, or Super Nintendo version, was a little bit better, but that's neither here nor there. I don't really like this color for the window, I think I'll just make it like a little bit darker, so to speak. I like, a, what, like this kind of color, that's a bit too bright. Let's go with this. Enemy window should probably be a bit darker than that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, let's make the enemy window completely black. That would make a lot of sense. So that's what I'm gonna do. The Super Nintendo version and the PlayStation versions were a little bit better. The sound in this game were a little bit weird. Huh, you can turn encounters off altogether. But I don't want to do that. Though that is very convenient, I'd rather just keep them on. Unless I was trying to get from point A to point B, then I would like to turn them off. But otherwise, I'll just leave them on. Okay, so some big epic battles going on. That guy kind of looks like Chrono from Chrono Trigger if he was wearing the garb as the main hero in Dragon Quest V. So yeah, Indignation is a very powerful magic that can take down this guy named Deos, or Daos, however you call him. And he turns into some twinkling star of negative energy. So Daos is the main antagonist of this game, and he's a very important character. A lot of things happening in this game revolve around him, pretty much. So what exactly happened to him? Was he destroyed? We don't know. But it looks like he just turns into this twinkling star. So technically he still exists, but just not in his form. So you gotta like sit through this little cutscene while you don't have to. And that's where the battle took place. Inside this mountain area. So now what? Does he get sealed? Yep, he gets sealed in this kind of pyramid. What are you doing here? No! With this pendant, he shall now be sealed in this little sarcophagus for all eternity. Or at least try to. Does he get turned into stone? Is the task appointed to my family through the generations fulfilled at last? Probably no. Otherwise, he wouldn't be playing this game. The game would be over before it started. A dozen or so years passed. Still passing. I figured I'd let's play this game now, considering that LP Grotus finished it on the Much Games Guide's YouTube channel some time ago, and this was requested. So, let's get this over with now and enjoy it. Did you call for me, Father? I did. How is your mother feeling? Her fever's gone, so she should be fine now. So what's on your mind? How about that pendant I gave you? Pendant? Oh, the one you gave me for my 15th birthday! What about it? Well, his name is Cress in this game, though he's originally called Kless. Okay, I'm off to hunt, Amy. Be careful! You're the only big brother I have! 
Yeah, some of the characters' names in this game were retranslated. Chris, let's go! So you may call them by their original names, that's entirely up to you. But I'm just gonna call them what I see here. That sounds like Chester. Oh, sorry, Dad. I already had plans with Chester. Oh, okay, let's talk about the pendant tonight at dinner time. Okay. Master Tristan, please make yourself comfortable. Alright, Chester, what are we gonna do? Sorry about that. Master Tristan just stopped by the house, and he's staring out the window. But I'm ready now, Chester. Chris, wait! Mom? You're still recovering from that illness. You should stay inside. But I was worried about you. There have been monsters about lately. We'll be fine, as long as Chester has his bow, and I have my sword. Plus, Dad's here in the village. Don't worry, Miss Mrs. Albane. We're just gonna do some hunting. Well, okay, but... Don't overdo it. Oh, and take this. Ah, oh, apple gel. Apple gels give you some health. They give you like a percentage based on the amount of HP you have. Press select to go into your menu. And you can take a look at your skills. Obviously, I don't have any skills, I just got 10 toilet paper, I mean, technical points. And you can assign them to, like, uh, any direction on the D-pad that you want. Unfortunately, I don't have any techniques, so... And it looks like Chester doesn't either. You can go to your equipment from here, and you can take a look, I got a long sword, some leather armor, and you can actually optimize it if you want. I don't think you can just press select or start to, like, uh, go out to any other character. Okay, I played for five minutes with 100 gold and no encounters. Oh, I never checked out the rest of it. Oh, I've got to press start to disable that part. Go to your items, your strategy, which determines what your AI characters will do. Your formation, if you so choose. And your titles. I think the titles affect, like, what stats you gain as you level up. Oh, we can cook a hamburger and a rice ball. So, you require bread and a little bit of, like, either chicken, beef, or pork from one type. So, if you don't have chicken, you can use beef or you can use pork. Though, I think if you had all three, you might be able to use all three at once and it gets stronger. Now, for rice ball, you need rice and seaweed. Obviously, we don't have all the recipes, but we'll get them as we move along. You can take a look at your status if you so choose. And you press left or right to go to each one, which is pretty cool. And then you can change your settings as you move along. Uh, I'd rather this go to one, so it'll load up a bit faster. And you can hold B to run as well. Oh, this is Chester's house. Might as well go see who we can talk to from here. Oh, Chris! Nice to see you! I made this for you. Aw, oh, stuffed Chris. That's so cute. Maybe Amy wants to be stuffed by Chris? Uh, I don't know. Hey, it's a stuffed Chris. Ha, uh, it looks just like you. Was that what you were knitting so late every night? Thanks, I'll take good care of it. Hey Amy, what about me? Oh, um... <laughs> you don't have anything for your own brother. So what does this stuff crest even do, anyway? Okay... Yeah, I'm looking at all the items, and you can actually sort them any way you want. Maybe it's a piece of equipment. No, I guess not. It's probably nothing even special. So, I'll just hold on to it, I suppose. Even if it's not gonna do me any good. I don't think there's any hidden items in houses, either. So, we're pretty much done here. It's been a while since I played this game, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Chris, you startled me! We're getting married next month! 
we were just talking about what sort of wedding we should have. Shouldn't you have thought of this before the month? Hello. I hope you find a good woman, too. I hope so as well. But I'm just gonna go to the Temple of Linios. Those two sculptures on either side of the temple's altar are beautiful. I'm in love, but they're god statues. I best watch what I say. And watch what you do as well. Jeez. Nothing on our mind. Oh, the wedding for next month. Sure, I'll lend a hand. He's named after Linios, the founder of Toltis. Okay, so this is for the wedding. Well, there's nothing special in the temple anyway. You're mostly getting, like, a flavor text. Hmm. Nature worship? Is that, like, paganism or something? I think so. You're not gonna get strong. Hello, Chris. The world has become a dangerous place indeed. Well, I can just turn off the encounters. Maybe there'd be no problems. <laughs> you'll wish you'll never grown up after a while. This truly is a village of a swordmaster. What fine selection of weapons. Well, better be good. You can't just take a weapon with you. You'll have to equip it before you can actually use it. Oh, that sounds like tutorial crap. Yeah, I'll buy something. What do you got? Okay, let's see. Here's the item. Not enough gold, of course. Uh, is the short bow good for someone like Chester? Maybe he already has it. Yeah, he already has it. The long bow will be an upgrade for him, and the rapier will be an upgrade for me. But I don't have enough gold, which of course is the currency in this game. Alright, let's press onward here at the Serenity Inn. That bunny looks very strange. I don't know why it's there. Moving the statue? The bush baby? Huh. Sure, I'll push it. Make sure you place it right up against the window side of the wall. No, I wouldn't. How do you push it anyway? Yeah, but unfortunately, it's not allowing me to push. It's right up against the whole thing. Unless there's another statue. And that doesn't seem to be the case at all. I'm traveling with my husband. Eh. Can't really live in the inn. It doesn't seem like a very comfortable place to live. What about privacy? You're not gonna have it. Well, that's weird. I've been just pressing the A button right next to that Bush Baby statue and it doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, you have to hold A and then move it. Now it makes sense. Thank you. Oh, I get 10 gold. That's not gonna buy me a new weapon. I should put that statue back. Wait, this guy's name is Goalie? Oh, I got an apple. Cool. Mmm, delicious coffee. And what other items do you have? What nice weather and clouds to the west? But you're not even gonna... Let me get any items? Well, of course nobody shops here because he won't let me buy anything. All he does is talk about the weather and the clouds and I don't get anything done. Let me take this apple back to Amy. Because believe it or not, you actually get something if you do. So let me get that taken care of. This is for you. Chester, you got another apple from the man at the grocery? Yummy! Gain the title of kind brother. Aww. Alright, let's try out this new title, shall we? 
A brother is kind to his kid's sister. Ah, uh, sure, why not? I don't know if it actually does affect your stats upon level up. That might be like in Tales of Symphonia or something. Probably happened that way in Tales of the Abyss as well, if I remember correctly. But the titles probably don't have any relevance here, or they did in Tales of Zillia either. Hello there, Chris. Leaving already, Master? I am. And where are you two headed? We're going hunting in South Forest. That will be excellent practice. And then he just leaves. Okay, the map music actually sounds very beautiful, if you ask me. Yeah, I'll overwrite the data. It might take a while to save, though. Okay, do I want to go up? I think I want to go... Let me check out up here. I think that's Euclid. That's a town to the north. You can actually move diagonally, too. That's cool. And there's the forest. The wild boar! And the boar's like, nope, I'm not a boar. After it! Let's chase it, then. We might have some battles here, too. If we do, that's not a bad thing. That can get us some training. You can actually hold up to attack enemies in the air as well. No. You can actually assign your own targets at, at will as well, which is pretty cool. I don't know, forget how it is you can actually block in this. I know it's not B. B is your text, which we don't have. So we gain 9 XP and 32 gold, and we get some cheese. Alright, so, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next episode, we're gonna go continue hunting. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.